everyone. This week's topic is Google Sheets. Google Sheets is a spreadsheet program similar to Microsoft Excel. There are two ways you can create a Google Sheet. One way is to click on the waffle icon, scroll down to your Sheets icon, and that will bring you to your Google Sheets dashboard. Here you can open up any existing Google Sheet you might have in your drive. You can start a Google Sheet from a template, or you can click the plus sign to create a blank sheet. Another way to create a Google Sheet is through My Drive. I like to create my Google files from Drive because I can then create the file within the folder I'd like that file to exist. I don't have to move it later on. So what you would do is click on the New button, go down to Google Sheets, click the arrow, and then click on Blank Spreadsheet. So now that we are in a blank spreadsheet, the first thing you're going to want to do is title your spreadsheet. So you just click on the title and then just name it. I'm going to call this Sample Sheet. So when you look at a spreadsheet program, what you're going to notice is a bunch of rows and columns. Our columns are labeled with letters. Our rows are labeled with numbers. The intersection of any row and column creates a cell. So if I were to click here, this cell that I've clicked on is at the intersection of column C and row four. When we refer to that cell, we name it C4. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put some color in that cell so that we can identify that cell. So this is cell C4. And any cell that you click on in a spreadsheet program will have a name. So if I were to click here, this would be cell E9. This would be cell A1. But sometimes we actually work with groups of cells. A group of cells is referred to as a range. If I click on cell B6 and select by holding down my mouse pointer over to E6, that is a range of cells we refer to as B6 through E6. And when we write that, let me just put some color into this cell so we can see it. When we refer to that group of cells, we say it's B6 colon E6. And a range of cells can also go in a column format. So if I were to click down from B8 down to B15, I'll give that range some color. That range would be referred to as B8 colon B15. And sometimes our range of cells might not be in a nice neat row or column. It might be a group of cells. So if I were to select this group of cells, let's give it some color so we can see it. This group of cells might, might be referred to as D8 colon F15. So when we do a group of cells that are not in a row or column, we start in the upper left-hand corner, D8, and we work our way down to the bottom right-hand corner, which is F15. At the top of the screen, you see some words. We call these words our menu bar. The reason why it's called a menu bar is when you click on any one of these words, a drop-down menu appears. And each of these drop-down menus offers you tools that you can use to work in your sheet. Underneath that, you'll see some icons. We refer to this as our toolbar. Each of these icons stands for a different tool. So we have our undo button, our redo button, our print button, our format painter button, format as currency, format as percent. We have our font icon, our font size, bold, italicize, our text color, our fill color for our cells. We have our borders. So all of the tools that are available in our toolbar are also available in our menu bar. But the toolbar is just a quick, easy way to get to some 
often used tools. At the bottom of the screen, you're going to see the word Sheet 1. Every Google Sheet contains at least one sheet, but sometimes we might need to have more than one sheet. We might have data, say, for different months or uh, different schools, and you might want each of that data to appear on its own sheet. So how we add sheets is by clicking this plus sign. So right now I have a sheet one, I can click the plus sign. Now I have a sheet two, I can click the plus sign. Now I have a sheet three, and you can have as many sheets as you need to in one single Google Sheet. Each sheet has a down arrow next to it, and when you click on that down arrow, a menu appears. So we can do different things to these individual sheets. We can delete these sheets, we can duplicate these sheets, we can copy these sheets either to a brand new spreadsheet that we'd like to create now or an existing spreadsheet that already exists in our Google Drive. I can rename the sheet, so if I click on rename, I can call this sheet budget and hit enter. I can also change the color of the sheet. So if I wanted to identify my sheets by color, I can just click on change color, come up, and choose a color for my sheet. I can also protect the sheet, which allows me to prevent people from changing information either on an entire sheet or on certain cells within a sheet. So even if you share the sheet and give people editing rights, you can still protect it and give only certain people the ability to edit certain sheets or cells within a Google Sheet. I can hide the sheet, so if I were to um, share the sheet with other people, I can hide certain sheets within a Google Sheet so that sensitive information uh, wouldn't be displayed to everyone and only to certain people. And then I can move the sheet. Right now I can move this sheet to the left. So if I do, budget is now in between sheet one and sheet two. I can now move it back to the right, or I can click and drag any sheet and change the order that way as well. Okay? So now spreadsheet programs are used to, um, for the most part, display information, but also make some calculations, do some manipulations. So when you start with a blank sheet, you're going to need to input some data. And how you do that is you just click on a cell and you just start typing. Okay, so what I've done is I created a uh, office expenses spreadsheet. So I've just entered the data and now I think I want to make it look a little bit better. So at the top of my spreadsheet are some headers. Maybe I want my headers to stand out a little bit so I might click and drag through and select them and I might maybe want to bold it. I might want to change the font size maybe to a larger size like 14. Maybe I might want to give it a different color so that it stands out a little bit better so I'll choose to uh, change my text color to this blue and maybe the categories of my spreadsheet I might want to make them a little bit larger as well so I'll select those cells I'll change the font size to 14 but you'll notice when I made the categories of my expense spreadsheet larger the text that was in those cells doesn't fit in the cells anymore I'll need to resize my column how I do that is I bring my mouse pointer to the border between both of my columns. And you'll notice that my mouse pointer will change to a double-headed arrow. When it does, I click down and hold and drag, and I resize my column. Now my text fits. And I can do that with my rows as well. If I move my mouse pointer in between any two rows and it changes to a double-headed arrow, if I click down and drag, I can resize my rows. Okay, you'll notice that I inputted some numbers for my expenses inside of my spreadsheet. But those numbers represent dollar amounts, but you wouldn't know that by looking at it. So maybe I want to make those numbers look like dollar amounts. If I select the cells that I'm looking to format, and then I come up here to my format menu, click down, I can go down to number, and I can change that to currency. And now my dollar amounts look like dollar amounts. The other way to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and undo this, 
is while those cells are selected, remember we have tools in our toolbar that are also available in our menu bar, but it's quick, easy access going to the toolbar. So I can just go up to my format as currency icon, click there, and now my numbers look like dollar amounts, which is what I wanted. What if I wasn't using dollars and cents? I can go ahead and increase and decrease my decimal places right from my toolbar. If I select my headers, I can come up here to where my border icon is. I can click down on there. I'm going to just put a line underneath my headers. I can choose the color of that line. So maybe I want to make it red. And then I can choose the thickness or style of my line. So if I wanted to do a dotted line, I can choose a dotted line. I can put a double line underneath or just a thick line, which is what I'm going to choose here. And now I have a thick red line underneath my headers of my spreadsheet. So one of the other great things we can do in a spreadsheet program is make some calculations. Let's say, for instance, I would like to find the totals of my expenses for each of my months. So I can come down here, I can write the word total. And then what I need to do is click in the cell I'd like the result of my total to go. So if I click at the bottom of my column of January, if I come up to the sigma icon on my toolbar, it's my functions icon, there's a down arrow next to it. If I click that down arrow and I choose the word sum, now my cursor is blinking my function exists in my cell. It's saying, okay, what do you want the sum of? Well, I can choose the cells that I want the sum of, so I can select the range from B2 down through B6, hit enter, and now that is the total of my expenses for the month of January. I can do the same for February. If I click in the box, I want my answer to be, I come up to my sigma icon, click the word sum. Now, just so you know, I don't have to choose just a group of cells in a row. If I hold down my control key, I can actually randomly choose different cells to sum up or get a total for and hit enter. So they don't have to all go in a row, but that's what I want to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and back out of there. One of the quick, easy tools that Google Sheets supplies you is the ability to copy a formula from one cell to the other. So if I click in the cell that my formula exists, where I calculated the sum for January, I select that cell. In the bottom right-hand corner, you'll notice a blue square. If I put my mouse pointer over that blue square, my mouse pointer changes to a plus sign. While it's that plus sign, if I click down and drag, I've just copied the formula from B7 over to C7. And I can further copy it to D7. And the great thing is, is that Google Sheets already knew, well, this formula is calculating the sum of the information from B2 through B6. I am in column B. But when I moved it over to C, and I click in C, you'll notice that the arguments of my formula also change from B to C. It knew that since I moved my formula to column C, I was probably looking for the sum of the cells in column C and the same for column D. When I click on column D, I'll notice that the formula for that cell D7 corresponds to the sum of numbers from D2 through D6. That's called relative reference. And Google Sheets knows that when you're copying formulas over, chances are you're going to want the references of that formula to also change. Okay, so now I've showed you how to make some calculations in Sheets. Another great tool that is available in Sheets is the ability to chart information. So if I select the information that I'd like to chart, I can come up here to insert, come down here to chart, and a chart dialog box will appear and a sample chart will appear. Right now, it thought that I would like to have a column chart. But what if I didn't want a column chart? Maybe I wanted a pie chart. If I come over here to chart type, scroll down, and choose a pie chart, 
I now have a pie chart for the data that is in my sheet. I can move my chart over so that it's not blocking the information on my spreadsheet. I could even resize my chart and make it smaller by grabbing one of the corners and resizing it. Okay? And one last thing before we go. If I come down here to this button on the bottom right hand side of the screen, it's called my Explore button. A box pops up, the Explore box, that allows me to do different things. I could ask questions about the information or the data that is contained in my spreadsheet and get answers. I can scroll down. I have some quick, easy formatting options. So if I wanted to format my spreadsheet with some alternating colors, I can go ahead and choose some alternating colors. And now you'll notice that my spreadsheet is now formatted in a different way. I can choose any color combination that I'd like. If I scroll down more, it actually gives me some chart options as well. So if I didn't want to create my chart from scratch and select the data, I could easily just click on the Explore button, find a chart that's relevant to me, click on it and drag it over to my spreadsheet and release. Now I have two charts on my spreadsheet. I can select the chart, I can resize it, and then I can move it over to where I need it to go. Any chart that I create on my spreadsheet, if I click the three dots in the corner, the three dots always stand for more, I could actually move this chart to its own sheet. I click on move to own sheet. That same pie chart that I just created now is on its own sheet. And the data that I use to create this chart is still on the sheet that I had there. Okay, so that's it. Good luck with your assignment. Good luck with learning Google Sheets. There's so much to Sheets, I couldn't possibly show you it all in this quick video. Utilize the resources in your HyperDoc. Learn as much as you can. If you have any questions, please reach out to a facilitator. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks.